This is Pat Holloway, field agronomist for Bex Hybrids in southwest Iowa. I'm in a cornfield in central Iowa, um, so I thought I'd provide a, a quick update on what I'm seeing out here. Um, this corn is, as you can see, is definitely tasseled. We're silking now, uh, and, and we're also shedding pollen. So we are at the R1 growth stage in this cornfield at this time. So that we're at uh, uh, some key a key time in this corn plant's life cycle. So over the next few days, this uh, this corn will be pollinating, um, and so uh, and 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 obviously we're a little bit past the VT growth stage here, uh, but only by a few days. And so we talk a lot about VT as being an important time for applying uh, fungicides, as that's when uh, we have found uh, with our with uh, Beck's Practical Farm Research, that that is the, the 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 time when we see the greatest return on investment to fungicide applications, typically. So I thought I would uh, uh, quick show uh, just uh, some some diseases I'm seeing out here, and and so far this year, disease pressure has been light. Uh, we've been uh, we started off a couple weeks ago. We were actually kind of cool, um, and it looked like it was going to be a little bit more of a favorable favorable environment for northern corn leaf blight. Uh, but over the last week or so here, we've turned off uh, pretty pretty hot. So, uh, which is typically would favor more of a gray leaf spot um, disease. So. Uh, for what we're seeing out here, um, we are seeing a, a little bit of gray as we look lower in the canopy. We can see some uh, some small lesions uh, of gray uh, on on these uh, corn plants, and uh, but nothing that would would uh, justify treatment for gray leaf spot alone at this point. Uh, but with our forecast in the future here of, of high 90s or even 100 degrees. Um, and we are we do have some chances of some a uh, little bit of rain in the forecast so it's likely going to be uh, a little bit uh, humid so those are ideal conditions for uh, for gray leaf spot development something that's interesting that i haven't seen much of at all this year uh, because we did turn off hot is i did find a northern corn leaf blight lesion um, here on on a lower leaf um, in this field uh, but like I said, we've just seen very little northern uh, this year because because we did turn off uh, real hot here a week or 10 days ago. But as we look at uh, fungicide applications in corn, we got uh, corn in all different growth stages uh, in Iowa. We got stuff from, you know, from waist high that was planted late to stuff that is, has been tasseled for a week or so at this point. Um, as we look at fungicide applications, you know, one thing is key to be out there scouting your corn, looking for gray leaf spot or other diseases that may be present that would uh, tell us we need to be out there spraying fungicide. And then if we'd already planned to spray fungicide, um, you know, then, then be uh, 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 making that timing at that tassel time application. That's even true for our later planted corn. I know that's a common question I get is some of this stuff that's planted maybe first of June or so, is it worth spraying that? And in my opinion, it is. I mean, that, that corn looks very good today, and I think we still have a lot of yield potential even though it was planted late. And so let's do everything we can to maximize yields in, in that corn also. And with that being later, uh, uh, going through the later growth stages, tasseling and and maturing there's going to be there could be a lot of inoculum out there from gray leaf spot that's in in other fields that uh, could increase the disease pressure depending on our weather uh, here over the next month or so but so and a, a short answer is if you are uh, considering uh, um, fungicide please uh, you know tassel time is when we see the highest return on investment and uh, we have three PFR products, uh, fungicide products that are PFR proven uh, over the last three years. And those are Headline Amp, Preemptor SC, um, Triva Pro is also uh, PFR proven. So anyway, I just want to provide a brief update on what we're seeing out here. Um, not a lot of disease at this time. And uh, so if you have any questions or concerns as you're out there scouting fields, please contact your local Bex. Uh, seed advisor, dealer, or myself, and we will be happy to help you. Thank you. Have